Let me start off just sit by saying this, man. Um, hats off to TCU. I mean, quite honestly, one of the one of the best teams we've played in the last five, six years. And um, man, just a complete football team, offensively, defensively, and on special teams. And um, certainly, hats off to them, their program, and, and obviously, we wish them the best of luck next week. Boy, I mean, I, I think it was so emotional last week, and you know, I, I feel like this team has fought, scratched, and clawed every way, and you know, our tank was on about E, and you know, I, I it wasn't um, the way, obviously, that we played the entirety of the season. Um, again, you're playing a great football team, and I, I think the, the emotions are numbing because the numbing piece of it is that's not what you've seen for 11 football games. But, uh, you know, again, a, a lot of that has to do with a great opponent. And when you make the mistakes that we've made um, and made today, they're going to make you pay like they did today. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you you kick the ball off. They got two great drives, you know, and, you know, they're able to put 10 points on the board right away. Um, then offensively, you know, you, you you go three and out right away, and, and then you turn the ball over to make it 17 to nothing, and it's like, geez, you can't do those things against a team like this. And I, obviously they got a lot to play for their senior day, and they came out with their hair on fire. And, you know, I don't know if we responded very well from the start, and that's the responsibility of the head football coach and and obviously I failed our kids getting us prepared for that opportunity yeah I, I think he'll be okay the great thing is if it's his non sh non throwing shoulder um, you know I think we'll get a little bit more information and feedback um, we just didn't want to risk it putting him back in and obviously it was good for Rocco to get in and play some football as well Well, I, obviously, it's not to the standard that we played, you know, and, and I think if you can take a big picture perspective is we played great offensive football here over the course of the last six years prior to what happened this year. And, you know, I, I think we have to really do some soul searching and evaluation of where we're at, um, man, where we need to go and how you continue to move yourself forward. But um, yeah, I, obviously, you can't play that style of football or have those mistakes and, and that in much inconsistency and win football games. And I think it was proven this year, obviously. Yeah, I, I think that's a great question. I think to be able to answer that right now would be unfair. I think you got to sit back and you got to be able to take some time and evaluate everything. I think anything you would say at this point is, you know, would be a knee jerk reaction. But uh, again, we 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 have done great things here and we have been able to do great things on the offensive side here. Um, and so uh, we're not naive to that. But uh, man, we got to really take a hard look at where we're at and obviously where we're going. Boy, yeah, you know, and, and, and again, I, I, you hate that part of it because I think when you look at what happened on special teams, you feel like there's been an immense growth in terms of what we've done. And, man, the, the biggest struggle has been just the inconsistency at the kicker position, you know, and, and that's, not a, that's not a negative. You've got a young freshman that's trying to find his way. And, you know, again, I, I would put as much – you know, as much challenge on me, you know, man, should we have put that kid in that situation early in his career? Um, the great thing about Jace is I know, you know, he's a young guy that you see improving with great consistency. So, you know, I, I think a lot of lessons learned. I, I, I feel like we made great strides there, to be quite honest with you. Um, man, even the kickoff return today was, man, you didn't really give our kickoff coverage team, who was number one in the conference coming into this game, you know, a great shot. It's a line drive kick, and then they make you pay for it. So, again, all things that, um, you know, I don't feel like we're as far off there as what, where we need to be, but I think we got to really evaluate some things and, and figure out how do we put ourselves consistently in the best position to be successful. Well, uh, the the record is what the record is, right? I mean, you, we're not going to run from it, and you know that's why they keep score, and that's why they give you a record. And you know, I, I would say obviously it's a drastic difference from where we were two years ago. So, um, man, those are those are real things. Um, 
you know, that, I guess I'm not going to hide from that. I mean, that's the reality. And so, again, a lot of soul searching here in the next the next couple of days and, and weeks and, and really try to evaluate, you know, where we are and, and where we've got the ability to go. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I would say in a lot of ways, very similar to year one, I guess, and in some way, shape and form. I mean, the amount of turnover that, that we had on our roster, you know, from last year to this year. I mean, we started out, I think, in FBS football, we were, you know, 128 of 131 in terms of returning players. And, you know, I, I think that's the that's the reality of it. So, you know, lots of growth, lots of inconsistency, and those things are frustrating, you know, and so, um, yeah, it's a great question. I think a lot of, a lot of, like I said, a lot of things for us to evaluate where we are and where we need to move ourselves forward. Definitely a different offseason than what we've had, um, and 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 in some ways we need it. We need the time to grow in a lot of ways.